I just wanted to do a little vid here on some advanced action layer stuff. Whoa, 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 let me get my arms. So, I was struggling with um, the role in Star Citizen. I wanted to have strafe left and right, but I also wanted the role. Motivated me to think about these action layers and figure out what the hell could I do. So, I wanted to share this because... This, it made me cackle with glee when I figured this out and tested it and it worked. So, okay, we have WASD, but instead of A and D, A is a go to an action, apply action set, or apply action layer. Apply action layer uh, Q roll. This is apply action layer E roll. So, okay. We do that, so let's go, and then we go to Q roll. Well, here's where it gets a little funky. So all of these are on a regular press. Remove this, remove this current action layer because we do not want to be on it. On this press, we have a roll, which is really just A. Release press, get rid of this thing. So, okay, where the hell's the roll? Well, that's where it... That's where it got funky. <laughs> so then I put an outer ring binding. I took it down a little bit, which is Q. It's not... And then I turned this into a four-way no overlap, no overlap region. So it's not perfect, but it works pretty damn well. And then the same thing here, it's going to be, you know, all of these, up, down, left, right, are remove this action layer. This one just has D with the release press to remove this. Outer ring binding of E. And then in action, you know, I'm going left, outer circle, I roll. Or my other left. <laughs> So I'm I'm too excited. Now I'm going left, and then I roll. I'm going right. I roll. So actually, let's uh let's see if this will show it. D, E roll. Ooh, look at that. A, whoa, Q roll. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so nice. It's so sweet. But still, I mean, it it works pretty darn well, and that's, like, I'm tempted to try to incorporate that into, like, Arma or something, I don't know, I have to fiddle more, but it works perfectly for this. So that's a way you can use action layers to, you know, layer them up and give yourself multiple outer ring, multiple edge buttons on the, uh, if you have it as a D-pad. I mean, really, that would probably... Would that work on joystick? It may not work on joystick move. It'd get a little... Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think it would. As I'm just rambling now, because I think... If that was joystick move, you would have to... Yeah, I don't think you could do that. Yeah, it, it wouldn't work. That'd be the limitation. Because you need it to be able to be a different action layer for left and right. And joystick move would just be one giant thing with an outer ring binding that could go to a different action set. But... Uh, yeah. I'm crunching the numbers in my brain. Processor's working. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would work. But if it's a D-pad, it works great. And you could uh, kind of do it. You could bind joystick... Full direction on. Uh, hmm. It, I've, you could maybe hack it with joystick move. You'd have to do a D pad like this and then bind in each one. You know, like that, where we're able to bind the directions and then modify it. I think it would get pretty 
clunky trying to keep the analog movement. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm not paying attention. But that, that is just a complete ramble. Anyways, still, that is a... I'm pretty excited about that. That feels really nice. So I can move left and right and then still roll at the outer edge. Forward and back, it all works great. So yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> Just, I was excited about that and I wanted to share. Advanced action layer tip. All right, I will see you around. <laughs>